President Yoon Suk-yeol is also flagging the economic risk of war in the Middle East, calling on related ministries to thoroughly ensure there is no harm or danger from an economic standpoint. For more, we are joined by Professor Shin sa don this morning. Welcome. Good morning. Professor Shin, Global uncertainties are stemming from the clash between the Israeli Defense Forces and Palestinian militant group Hamas. Now, Israel and Palestine are not oil-producing countries, but how might the conflict actually spike oil prices? Well, when the incident occurred uh, October 7th, uh, it struck, struck uh, you know, everybody in the world because we were quite uh, reminiscent about 1970s, you know, oil, oil shocks, global oil shock. But uh, so far, after five days of the uh, Hamas attack on Israel, the price of oil surprisingly come down very much. Initially, it went up about 4% from $83 per barrel to 87 but it, it come down to uh, 83 yesterday. So, uh, so far, the impact of Hamas attack on oil price seems to be uh, uh, very little. Mm. So the impact on the global oil prices is still quite limited uh, so far. But what happens if the Strait of Hormuz has actually gets shut down? Is that the worst case scenario for a global economy? Oh, yeah, yeah. If, you know, Iran is involved in the conflict, that means it's kind of a global conflict between uh, uh, Iranian community and the Western community. But I think <clears throat> that's, that has a very little chance because Iran uh, doesn't want, in my opinion, doesn't want the propagation of this kind of conflict, which has been decade long conflict. So Iran uh, does not want to be involved and no country in the world, even the Russia or even North Korea, would not be interested in the propagation of the conflict. So I think I think the, the conflict between Hamas and Israel will be pretty much contained, and that contamination is the interest of the United States and the Western world. So I believe, you know, the uh, the blockade of uh, I mean Hormuz uh, Strait. That's a very little chance. Right. Let's leave that as the worst case scenario so far. Now, how can this Israel Hamas conflict then be a headache for you know us, South Korea? What kind of impact or influence can we actually uh, feel? Yeah, first, oil price, initially it went about 4% right after the incident, but it came down to the pre-conflict level. So the oil price so far is not the issue. What about the financial market? Surprisingly, financial market has been very stable since the outbreak of the uh, Israeli uh, uh, Hamas conflict. So financially, it's okay. What about international trade? I think there isn't any uh, significant effect upon international trade. So, so far, I, I, I would say that um, the incident, Hamas incident, uh, is, uh, has, has not had a significant uh, effect upon Korea as well as on the global, global you know, environment. So in terms of financial situations, it's not as bad as the Ukraine crisis, let's say. Now, then how will central banks across the globe follow up and actually manage the situation? Will there be, you know, more interest hikes possibly? Let's start with the U U.S. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, the several of Fed officials has mentioned the possibility of posing, uh, uh, you know, rate hike, which has been expected at least once during this year. But, but as you're looking at, upon, you know, the job statistics and the inflation statistics and the stock price, nothing has been significantly influenced by Hamas attacks. So I think there, will, there won't be any uh, significant change in the course of policy of the Federal Reserve, which means that the Fed will raise the rate at least once uh, during during the end of, uh, you know, until the end of this year. Right, to tame that inflation still. Then should we, do you think the same for South Korea? I mean, what kind of decision will Bank of Korea make next week? 
Well, you know, so far already, you know, the, the rate in Korea has been two percentage points lower than the United States, which means that Korea has the, uh, the pressure uh, to keep up with, you know, um, American interest rates. So if U.S. raises the rate at least once this year, I think Korea uh, has to follow up. So uh, uh, Korea's situation is a little different from the United States in the sense that the rate in Korea has been uh, uh, significantly lower than the United States, which means that we have uh, we have uh, constant pressure uh, to rate to rate hike. Uh, in, in terms of Korean uh, monetary policy. Right. We're nearly a week into the war in the Middle East, but still maybe it could be prolonged, like the Ukraine crisis. Let's see how this unfolds. Uh, thank you, Professor Shen, so much for your time this morning. You have a good day. My pleasure.